And hello everyone, we are finally back with Delta Rampa. And episode 19. Long, long way back. We just finished Class Trial 5. Yes, okay, I remember now. Yeah, apparently we were just chosen as the black, and apparently it was right when we definitely did not do it. But our best friend AI Alter Ego saved our lives. And now here we are in some trash compactor, I believe. Um, I guess we should just click on it, everything. This is a desk. It's probably the one I fell down here with me. Probably so. That's a rocket. And a tank. Better not- I better not think about it too much while- about what I'm seeing down here. No. I think you fucking should. Is that an airplane? That's not like that one up in the school's garbage pit. Hey look, it's a door. Ah, oh, fucking course. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. Rattle, rattle, as- uh, Oh, here, it's locked. Here, let me just go and rattle, rattle it again. Like, that will fit do anything, you fucking dumbass. No matter how many times I push or pull or kick at it, it doesn't- It didn't budge. No shit, Sherlock. Getting out of here isn't gonna be that easy. Well, if I'm not gonna get out of here anytime soon... Started to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. No shit, you're in a garbage place! What did you expect? Well, that was pointless too. Next, I search for some water. Speaking of which, water break. Alrighty. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are all round bad idea? Again, pointless. Feel like I'm blocked in all sides, but that's still not enough reason to give up because... Because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. Making that proud declar declaration, the next thing I decided to do was... Go to sleep. I'm not gonna give up. Go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. It was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. Can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. All I did it was sleep and sleep. It's like waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, the fire from the sky was on the sign. Not exactly. The grunch! What the? Strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched the pile of garbage jostle and form an odd shape. Did some fall down over there? Did some fell from up above. What could it have been? Well, only one way to find out, dipshit! Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? Carefully stretched my hand out towards whatever it was that had tumbled down here with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash? Rude. I think I remember that voice. Hit the damn truck that I like. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It oh, smells I thought it was... awful. Oh my god. Yeah, you got a cup of ramen. Head. Indeed. The favorite! You look like you're doing better than I expected. What, what are so... you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. 
I'm glad you're here to hear that, favorite. Um, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick strip shit to get rid of the trash hey. and faced me again. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Th thank you! Snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making my way towards my stomach. Well, that really hit the spot. Now I got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> so you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact I keep going forward is is about mm -hmm. all I'm good at. Well, that sounds... Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Alright, well now what? I was really hoping it was going to start hitting that fucking beat I liked. But favorite. Why did you come to so... rescue me? To pay a debt. Or no, to atone. You. Atone? During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you Indeed. knew that I knew. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help <sighs> you. I abandoned you. Don't say that, you didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you, abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me and I couldn't bring myself to do However, the same for you. But listen, that's not, that, not that I'm trying to make it excuses, but there was a reason I had to survive no matter the cost. Reaction. Why did it's you have true. to survive? I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I had words. to survive is so I can do what I came to do, this school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope Speak Academy for one very important reason. Reaction. So you have some reason for coming Indeed. to Hope's Peak? That's right, at least I did once. I... What? Until recently, I forgot what it was. You forgot, but that's... I had no memory of what my purpose was. No memory? That's impossible. Amnesia? But is it really true you lost Makoto. your memory? Do you remember, Simp? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at this school? First thing? I'm talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted when I woke up, That's I was right. trapped here. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within it myself, seem... a disconnect. Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make hey. you forget all that? Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. But, but why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability. Somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plans. So the mastermind just stole them from you. However... It could also mean, somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of this school and the mastermind. Which is why I had to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if you say, what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Water break, because my throat is dry. Why is that? If I did that, we had all worked as, as one. The mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always a chance that the mastermind is actually one of us. Correct. What? Well, don't make too big deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The mastermind. One of us. If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory However. by herself. That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But, why me? Because among everyone, you were at least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intu intuition, but... I, I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I... understand. I should... 
understand everything. The fuck is going My on? My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. The fuck? Gah! Just like a dream I had before, but why did that just happen? Are you okay? Oh yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know. It's just, I'm not used to relying Correct. on others. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. You said that you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own? So how did that turn out? Where were you able to... Were you able to so... remember anything? I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. Oh, hell yeah, we finally find out. You mentioned your I... ability. My ability, what everyone should have known me for. I'm the ultimate detective. Makes a hundred percent sense now. Just not that alone. Because I grew up watching cop shows where they had the detectives do all this and that. So I could see why that would be it, but just because, and not just that, like her helping here, her fucking part, like she's a great fucking character in this game. But that definitely would make an immediate why I'd probably go for, oh, I like this person immediately. The ultimate Correct. detective. And the reason why I came to Hoots Peak Academy, there was someone I had to find here in the store. Reaction. You had to find someone? So... Who? Well... It was the headmaster of Hoops Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. Oh, shit. What? In other words... I was separated from him as a child, and as it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hoops Peak. Favorite stat. Is Hoops Peak's ma headmaster? Then that explains... When Alter Eagle told us about he felt the headmaster was involved. I... I'll find a huh? way. I... Huh? No matter what it takes, I will find a way. The so, cost. So, um... Favorite, what's going on? I... My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt... strange. Makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. However... That makes sense. But listen, Simp, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I seen when I snuck into headmas the headmaster's room. Then, what did you so... see in there? The room had been ran ransacked, the shelves were a mess, and the desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where where anything was had been there, in there. You mean the mastermind, it's true. right? That was my assumption, yes, and to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is Indeed. some kind of map? The layout in the entirety of Hope Speak Academy. Found in the headmaster's room along with Muck's profile and that key. I almost said the actual name. <laughs> Map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. Some that if that were true, the room would likely ho had hold more clues, Correct. so I went to check. And that's when I finally remembered. I remember that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went to there and to see the, if the headmaster really did However, have a private room there. But once I got there, I noticed the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. REACTION! 
So what was it like? The part of the school, I mean. It's hard to describe. All I, I can say is... The moment I saw it, I realized... Whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. Well, so... What do you mean? I can't explain it. You need to say it for yourself, and I'm sure you'll get the chance soon enough. Sounds like it must be important. I'm really ominous. However... Of course, once I got to the second... Which is why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. Reaction. It, it has to do with Muck, However, doesn't it? Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi, so then he anyway. did kill her. What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Muck was to get me killed. Get you Indeed. killed? I stole that key and disappeared, and in retaliation they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. That was the point of the class trial. It was? The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school That's regulations? Right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hipspeak Academy at your discretion. In other words... The mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with the rules rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules. That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves mm. is some... Mastermind is somehow bound by hey. the school regulations. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Muck. What's that? There was a point where Muck may not have been. Could have been you, Sim. I could have become Indeed. the victim? You know what I'm talking about, right? You mean. During the night? I. I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the god of death. Why? I can hear the god of death as he moves. The ability naturally draws me into cases anyway. just like this. Which is wh exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell and I saw a white shadow across the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. Running right your room, I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However, that wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but I, that led to whoever the master assailant was. They ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised in the doji cube, wound up in my room. It all had to be the work of the mastermind in an attempt to use the class trial to eliminate me. Reaction! So all that- all this would mean that whoever killed Muck is also Indeed. the mastermind, right? I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's really bad if true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, does that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they should- couldn't Correct. interfere, right? You're right, that is a contradiction. And it's not just Muck. They needed the class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything we did is a contradiction. So what in does this words, all mean? It means the mastermind is the one who's been, who, who's been concerned. Makoto. Huh? Just a little more. One more and I should be able to figure out who the mastermind's identity. The identity of... The other ultimate despair. Wait, what? Huh? The other ultimate despair? And there's that beat. It's what I thought was gonna happen earlier. The second fucking favorite appears from the garbage. There's no doubt that Muck was the ultimate despair and that, and that she's dead. And I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. 
not? Indeed. You think about it, the ultimate spirit seems to implicate whoever caused that event. That's right. I'm talking about what happened a year ago, the biggest, most awful, most tragic, tragic event in human history. The tragedy, whoever's responsible for that. It They're the seem... ultimate despair. That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Indeed. Then there, make no mistake, water break. They're the root of all evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Our mild dash, playing a junk food junkie. The end. Surviving students. Yeah, six, because I already died. To be continued. You received the Dream Island Rocket present. Yes, I want to save my data. So that's chapter 5 ended. And then when you bring this fucking beat back. The ultimate despair. A group of people caused tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began- <coughs> Bless me. Broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. <laughs> but right now... Anyway... Right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Bring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. Barry, do you sell that one thing? Delta Kuma's secret toll that you got from the Indeed. Headmaster's room? Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the Mastermind. I would never part with it. It can open any door in right. school, right? Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Hey, favorite. Can it, we can use that key of yours over to open the door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Favorite took out the key with the Delta Puma design on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Click! Yes! It opened! Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Finally. We were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief. Because the real fight had just begun. Chapter 6. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. Holy fuck. Reading ultimate that many times really makes me feel like this is the final fucking chapter. Fuck, I didn't read that part. But there wasn't even... Because the after leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea hey. we were so far down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Y yeah, I'll be careful. Now you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking with will help keep my mind off of it. I'm um, so favorite. Something I wanted to ask you. So the ulti you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? So how long? Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family Wrong. famous? Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? right? So, because we take pride in Indeed. it. Indeed. Pride? 
A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stay neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of the society. Which is why we made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious it's effort. True. It's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to, to protect it. Because, I, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when looking... When I when was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. She hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However... And yet... I gave up some of that pride. I... Huh? In order to enter Herb's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kyogiri detective would never do. The reason you gave up that pride... The reason you go so far to enter Herb's Peak... Was because that's... Uh, how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But, but you're reuniting after all these years, right? You would have so much Wrong. to talk about. There's nothing I want to talk about talk to my However, father about there's something I want to say to him though no. I what no matter what it takes I have to find him and tell him face to face but so... what is it I want to serve severe sever all ties with him sever the last time I saw him I was still very young so I don't remember myself but apparently he was extremely intelligent he was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family, and he was talented, he had a However, promising future. But he had no interest in detective work, so he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument. And as, as young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take right. you with him. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above favorite on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. You can see how she looked when she said that. What she might have been feeling. All I could tell was compared to her usual self, she was more talkative. I... More emotional. I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. It's what anyone in my position might say, right? However, but it's not true. There's one thing. One thing I can never forgive. So... Really? The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind, like I said. Sad about... Uh, about me. However, I think it was a good thing. When the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me I... to this day. The shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need Correct. to step out of the shadow. And that's why I had to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I had no doubt he forgot me years ago. But your family, to just cut him out like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by hey. heart and soul? No. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. She's got a point there. She's got a really excellent point there. She kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top.
Indeed. Looks like this is it. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak Academy is Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're that's right. back. Remember the hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I uh, I unlocked it earlier, so it should it sh so it should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. Reached my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. Hatch open with ease, and so. We did it! <sighs> Looks like we're back. But I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of here. Out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Favorite thank you. I never would have gotten out of there without you. <laughs> no, no thanks necessary. I was just turning your favor. Well, now apparently it's night time, so now what? So now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but the last time I found out... Well, I'm worried about you too. You helped me, Listen. so they might... You're worried? Y yeah, of so course. Then. then let's just get a concrete answer. In huh? other words... Just ask Delta Kuma if there's a problem with you escaping. What? Wait, that's... However... We try to hide it only amount of time until we're found out, and it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry, what do you think is going to happen? Because... Isn't it? Because Mastermind is the one that's ensnared. Mastermind is ensnared? So it sounded like that before, so... but it doesn't mean. Mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Muck's death. There's a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. Right. There was? If we can talk to Delta Kuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our ne negotiations. Still a little, no, super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, Indeed. do we? Delta Kuma should Shall be in the gym. Let's get going. Alright. Fuck it. Send it. Oh, I'm doing all this. Here the fucking gym. Yes, what's the team of fucking gym? I ain't doing all that walking. I'm walking here. Well now, well now, well now, well now. <sighs> fucking hell, I haven't done this voice in a hot minute. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Favorite, I don't mind so much, bitch. I don't believe it! But Sip's supposed to be dead, bitch. What's he doing here, bitch? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be a okay? Poom, You were supposed to be punished, bitch. Did Favorite help you, bitch? What? So what if I did? What will you do? She If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed, bitch. It's unfortunate, but that is the role. Making me angry! So now I gotta punish you again, bitch. This time I won't... This time I won't leave anything to chance, bitch. But favorite. Right. Do we have to do whatever you feel you have to? W what? Caleb redeeming hydrate train. I don't have a V8 bottle right now on me. Because the amount of hydrates that have not been happening. I just gulped the rest of my water, and I had two bottles. However, and I gotta keep this show going. But before you do that, let me just say one now, thing: if, if you ex execute sip, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? It's what I'm doing, Caleb. Huh? 
Huh, bitch? I lose, bitch? Hey! You, bitch! Explain yourself, bitch! What do you mean by that, bitch? Because... I'm drinking between these sentences. I hope y'all know this. Wait, it's sick on water. We well, set up a, the latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill in me. In other words. I'm supposed to be chosen as black and then executed, right? <laughs> hey, what are you talking about, bitch? However. But when Sip chose to overlook my life, my lie, your plan came crashing down. Caleb. If I get done this, before the stream ends, I will go and grab a fucking can of tea and I'll gulp that shit down. I'm not sure if you'll hear it, but I'll gulp it. I'm saying by the end of the stream because I'm not doing it when I know my start feels like I'm gonna fucking puke. The results of the trial weren't all, at all, what you were expecting. Jesus Christ. <laughs> because you never imagined that in that position one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. You re you reacted by proclaiming Simp the Blacken and trying to execute him. Bro, I bro, I really need to change that fucking I I'm cha I need to change that fucking points, bro, because every time I think that's probably the second one or the third one that's been redeemed and oh my god I've fucking regretted it every time even just doing water right now makes it worse you made the choice out of desperation no more than that no never mind juice was definitely worse because drinking like half the fucking damn bottle my stomach felt like it was fucking getting torn up. You must have realized that Simp, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However... And then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. Oh my god, bro, I feel like I'm gonna burp and- oh my god. Does it help that I'm drinking water or something that's not carbonated? An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter Ego. Okay. I just finished... How much is there in these? 16.9 ounces of water. And probably like half of a fucking 32, so that's what, 18, no, not 18, 16. So another, 16 times 3, that's a little bit over 45, right? Like 48-ish. Yeah, about like fucking 48 ounces <laughs> of water. The past like fucking 10 minutes, probably. Fucking hell. That's the fucking Mountain Dew I drank earlier. That's what's coming up. You never imagine the possibility of being. <laughs> could come to our aid even after you killed it. Jesus Christ, bro. Am I wrong? No, it's the now, here's the absolute truth Sip didn't kill Muck. You did. Listen to me. So executing Simp for it would for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. But the Blacken is exposed they alone will be executed. That's what you taught us, right? Hmm. And that's and that means I lose, bitch? 
You talk a big game, bitch. You're saying the black is me and not sit, bitch? Well? And you can prove this, right, bitch? Wow. No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. Yeah. What is this, a comedy routine, bitch? To make such a bold claim without a shred of evidence? That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find That's some. That's right. No matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only one ever one. There's only ever one absolute truth. Boom, boom. And now you try to talk to like some kind of famous detective type, bitch. Because... If Sip really was the killer, he never would have come to, to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the spirit you so loved to inspire. However. But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence, bitch? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Simp now, everyone out there watching this would extremely... would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Bang, bang, and dropping that fucking beat. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Sin. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Hey. Of course, you can say that we're just making this all fucking hope. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove. Why the hell did I get the hiccups after drinking water? Because if you kill Sip without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. Your own defeat. I got the hiccups after drinking the water. <laughs> if you want to earn our despair, fair and That's square, what we have to do. Then I suggest you take my advice. So, bitch, what is this advice of yours, bitch? It's true. To do Muck's trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure it's a It's time trial. for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Hell yeah! Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial. One last showdown. In other words, this fear chance to expose the true identity of Muck's killer and the Mastermind themselves. But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting, bitch. Bear it! Very interesting indeed, bitch. Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little, bitch. The time for Barry jokes, bitch. Now that you suggested... Now what you've suggested might be plausible, bitch. It would certainly make for one honey of a climax, bitch. In other words... Does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, that will be enough to convince you and the viewers, right, bitch? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right, bitch? Then I'm prepared, then I'm prepared to agree to your terms, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Will your hope win out, bitch? <coughs> Lord, I'm allergic to bullshit. Or will my despair claim victory, bitch? I can barely contain myself! Let's have one final grizzly showdown, bitch. He agreed? And we still have a shot at this. Bear it! But this is a long-awaited climax, right, bitch? Just guessing the killer is barely a shit of you, bitch. To find the final face off, you have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here, bitch. All the mysteries? <laughs> that's right, bitch. Every last mystery that's pawing around the skull, bitch. If you can I do can that... I can barely contain myself! Well, that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you, bitch. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well, good, bitch. Let, then let's bury it all, bitch. 
if you can claw your way to truth of Muck's death and solve the mysteries of this you world, guys! then you win, bitch. <laughs> but if you can't do all of that, we'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me, bitch? <laughs> We're excited as you are, I'm Listen sure. to me. When we uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned hey. out. To be honest, I haven't either. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial What's is held. What's wrong? I remember that for sure, bitch. So what, bitch? Hey. I just want to confirm that is what you said, right? And that it's a true statement. <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious, bitch. I've said it before, but it bears, but it it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations, bitch. And having a trial in Muck is no exception to that, bitch. Huh? Muck's trial is no exception. Then it's part of their regulations. That's what I mean. Whoever killed Muck. <laughs> It's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns, bitch. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. The only people to take a single step and have to speak since the killing game began. And this 16 students. Listen. What? Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> Now I'm really angry! I'm done talking, bitch. I had nothing left to say to you, bitch. So get lost, would you, bitch? Why so <sighs> mad? He seems emotionally unsafe. Hey! Leave me alone, bitch. Get out of here, bitch. Okay, I'm going. I'm just... You really gotta let me go? <sighs> no, bitch. I don't even care anymore, bitch. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway, bitch. I need to start getting it ready, bitch. A super duper extra special punishment, earth flowing with despair. <laughs> hey. Come on, Sim, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Imagine just walking up to everybody in like the fucking dining hall. Hey guys, I'm alive. What the fuck? <laughs> Delta Kim's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. I can hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up getting, not getting executed. Still out of my life and I still had the chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in favorite step. Favorite, thank you. Everything I have right However, now is because of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle's still ahead of us. Yeah, true. <sighs> but still, I'm glad it worked out. Wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But, but honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, so... do they? They had no choice but to accept. Because... Huh? It's all because of that one moment that the mastermind let down the guard, like I said. So when it was that the mass one so when was it when the mastermind let the guard so... down? I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember when what the mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airwaves to the broadcast to our broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely Listen. said that. And what do you think what do you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so Indeed. unbelievable. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that's kind of thing extremely difficult to However, pull off. And yet somehow the mastermind was able to words. do it. But I think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. Your so... Reason? They had to show the world something, no matter the cost. Us killing each other. They wanted to show the world. Seem... The mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, it makes sense that those stupid regulations that exist in the library would have killed anybody. 
So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show all to the world. But Correct. why? To prove a point, most likely. Prove a hey. point? The outside world has a name for the students of Hope Peak Academy, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, That's right. right? And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sick and despair. Mastermind want, wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's the goal as the ultimate despair. What? They want us to prove that despair is better than hope? But that that's it's ridiculous. True. You're right, it is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but who calls themselves the ultimate despair would devise. That group only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But by, if that's really their only reason for making the rest of us Makoto. suffer... I know how angry it must make you, and yet... That same motivation is what has led them to the Mastermind revealing their weakness. In what? other words... Because their goal to broadcast this killing game to the world. Mastermind has had to more, be more particular than, it, than is reasonable about their own regulations. Mastermind simply ignored the rules. This wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least. But at least that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. Indeed. That's precisely the reason. No matter how much they want, they, they may hate what I'm doing. I haven't violated a single one of their re regulations. Junkrat broke the rules so that she was punished, but in my case, they can lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use class trial following all the proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer. They made me out to be the killer. But even that it's didn't true. work. Yeah, it's thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took another re yet another risk. They attempted to kill you and said who also was not the killer. When the fact was exposed on live TV to the entire world, outside world, Mastermind had to accept your suggestion. Indeed. To prove that to the world that despair is better than hope. They had to defeat us in perfect In other form. words. It would only do the Mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own rules, their own regulations. But all that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the mastermind to However, accept the challenge. Well, it only takes you to... Thanks to you, we got that chance. Because you believed in me, another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of that mastermind's thoughts and plans were able to be figured out. I didn't have the slightest Wrong. clue. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> it looks like I got it right. This time, at least, I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh and took a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I've been that I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. <laughs> well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part in the negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? I completely agree with that. Plus, if I shun my uneasiness, I would have just made that much more uneasy. Made you just as much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However. Anyway, we can't just relax just yet. All we've done it All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time.
Correct. The thing we got, we gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. Yeah, that's what I, I that's what I thought was going on the second they left the damn gym. They were about to go tell everybody else what happened. Sure, but no, now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do is now work together with everyone to destroy the mastermind. Work together with everyone. However, is that really possible? Huh? Anyway. Anyway, right now we have to go find the Shall others. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? I guess we shall go. And then walk down this out. The hallway should say not all. Not very, not you. Not me, not you. This is Rich Bitch's room. Is he inside? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hey. I don't think he's here. Come on, we need to keep looking. J.K. Rowling. This is J.K. Rowling's room. Is she inside? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hey. I don't think she's here. Come on, we need to keep looking. This is Steve Feltz's sister's room. Is she inside? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hey. I don't think she's in there. Come on, we need to keep walking. Is nobody home? Or in the rooms? This is Spirit Ball Man's room. Is he inside? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hey. I don't think he's in there. Come on, we need to keep moving. And then I no, di no the dining hall is restricted at night. Just a second. Is there a reason you need to search my room? Come on, we need to keep walking. This is my room, I can't head back yet. We just looked at everybody's room, did we not? She's here, where the fuck is she at? She's in the in this area. Are we not gonna talk to her? I swear to God, they're in the dining hall. They're in here, aren't they? Suddenly we were great what yep. Even though it says nighttime. And this area is supposed to be restricted. Sure do the frick you again. The the one zero three point two point one point two five five See broken. This is motion on stability reaches low reach its limits. Because the floor is 61. Jeez, what However, the heck? 
I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah! Is that... Makoto? Hey, look at everybody! Well, oh my god, she's... Oh my god, J.K. Rowling's smiling? Holy shit! It's a miracle. Y you guys! It is! There's no two ways about it! That's Makoto! Huh? You s survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? Damn! He actually seems happy to he see me. I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? No, I'm not. Everyone was there, all my friends who had struggled together and survived. And as soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. Ah. It's Sip. He smells like a wet dog. <laughs> get, get, get away. Shoo, shoo. And in a flash, my tears dried up. Damn, guys. Way to ruin a moment. Wrong button. There you go. I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me neither. Do you realize why it is you escaped the ex execution? It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say that they had their lives saved by a computer program. Hmm. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. I couldn't tell if he was like trying to throw a pun with that. No. Let's try to click on her. So what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Hmm. Well, we figured since the trial was over, we have access to new places again. And... Aww. No dice. All the runes that were locked before were still locked. So there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go to find new clues? Favorites in the key and the key, obviously. We trust everybody. Ugh, you stink. Are you rotten? I I'm telling you! Rotten f physically, mentally, every way you can be, be rotten. Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. <laughs> the smell is so s s smelly. <sighs> Super smelly. You smell even worse than me. Way worse than me. <laughs> I win. She seems happy for some reason. Yo! Sam, what, it, what was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world. You know? Did you get to talk to her? Who? Hmm. It's Cleo. No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? So now, favorite. Makoto. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Delta Yes. Puma. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? My... It is okay you're here. What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Huh? Last class trial? In other words. We're going to redo Muck's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Sim killed her, right? No, I didn't do it, like I keep telling you. Wrong. 
simp isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you, <laughs> then who is it? I see. What she's trying to say is it, it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the mastermind killed Muck? That's right. It was all. That's right. It was all elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Sim spotted the trap in time and did what he had to, to. Did what he had to to stop it. However. But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What? What did you say? You spotted the trap. Did you, Sim? Make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know. However. But executing Sim, who wasn't the blacken, is a clear violation of school regulation. Rules state that only the blacken is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rules. <laughs> Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? The mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? <laughs> They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. You said now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you're referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Favor to explain it again later. So knowing all this, what do we do now? About that. It's not who killed Muck, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Hmm. But there's more to it than that, I correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last surrounding... Every mystery surrounding the school. Huh? Every last mystery? But... But we've been looking around all this time, and we and we still don't know anything, right? Anyway... You probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, no! It, everyone! I hate you! Hey, hey, who said you agree to those turns without talking to the rest of us? <laughs> I'm fine with the with things the way they are. I'm fine with living for, here forever with Master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Water break real quick. Anyway, anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. In other words, one decisive final battle, a rather interesting development, I say. But... And figuring out who the mastermind is, and how they killed Muck, and all the school's mysteries? <sighs> it's a pretty tough freaking order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll all sol we'll solve all those mysteries. 
I'm not sure. I'm not so sure about that. H huh? I... I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too at first. Until Dotakuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? <laughs> It's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game became began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step into Hope Fake Academy or Hope Fake since killing game began are those 16 students. I see. Delta Kuma said that, did he? And favorite's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? huh? But why? So, in other words... If the mastermind is really the one who killed Muck, as favorite says, then the mastermind would have... would have to have set full foot in the skull, right? Yotakuma probably murdered Muck, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words... But according to Delta Kuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak and 16 students have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> Then the mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the m main hall at the very beginning. I didn't m m mock and you get 16. <laughs> so the mastermind would have to be one of them? That's right. And those, of those 16 people, we started out with the only one still alive. The people standing right here. Yeah, you, know, you continue, or do you get it now? What? Are you saying the mastermind is one of us? I mean, it would explain why you would survive this long. What didn't you say? You can't be serious. Well, wait, we can't say that for sure. That's true, yay. Don't think you might have just said that to confuse us. Oh, well, you said it, so now I'm assuming foreshadow. Immediately. Indeed. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among, but only one among many. Sorry guys, one more water break. Alright. Mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. <laughs> and that is one possibility we can't ignore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate. The spirit, so they must be a high school. <laughs> can't say it's not possible. But one of us was Mastermind, they had to be controlling Delta Puma somehow, right? But if you ever see. But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Delta Kim was acting? Well, maybe they s snuck off and controlled him in, in secret. I don't care how sneaky you are; they would have we wouldn't notice someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Then maybe Delta Kim was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way you could have had all these back and forth conversations with us. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they jerked to the flow of the conversation. Well, well, maybe, but still. 
Ding dong, bing bong. Ah, uh, this is a school announcement. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> hmm? A very magnum magnanimous of him to unlock all That's the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But hmm. but, I was planning on working. I was planning on working alone from the beginning. Anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, at this point, I can only rely on myself. On the Tagami blood flowing through my veins. Hmm. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then. After making his final statement, rich bitch left the dining hall. <laughs> yeah, m master! He didn't take me w with him. Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> without master, the rest of you are like coffee with cream without the cream. Or coffee. <laughs> You're totally useless. So, so bye. That JK Rowling trudged, trudged out of the dining hall. <sighs> And now she's gone. You're gonna go off by yourself, right, favorite? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which leads Simp, Steepfelt's sister, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself. Just soon. a second! Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing loudly, Spirit Ball Man left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves. What about you, Steve mm. sister? Um, I guess I'll do the same. But... I mean, it's not that I don't trust anyone, you know? I mean... But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just, I just depended on She-Hawk and everyone else. Not useless. If you hadn't been there, I would've died. Huh? To Simp? <laughs> yeah, that's really nice of you to say. But... So, I know I must have been totally okay. useless. So, if you're at least... Here at the end, maybe I can find something that I'll help us all get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. She felt the sister was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. So you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Favorite? However. Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're. Going to do our own searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should see it as splitting up to cover more ground. We can get back together and we share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So then... Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need Correct. to track. So the game said all doors in the school have been unlocked, right? We should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. Except no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. That favorite was gone. Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. Begin my search. Still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. For the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of this school. And then we can all escape together. Investigate time! I guess I'll start by taking another look at Muck's Mo Delta Puma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim has been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with old wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Muck, they won't know who the mastermind is. So where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? Let's just start with the rooms that were locked up until now. 
My master's are in the bio lab, the door in the data center with Delta Kim's face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the door where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? To all that, double check the areas that are connected to the murder. Which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, time to get started. Places to check if it's added to the truth bullet. I still believe this is where we're going to end this one, ladies and gents. Meaning, I gotta go and get a can of tea for a hydrant train that got redeemed, so I shall be right back. Back and to redeem Hydro Train that was redeemed by Caleb. Ah, oh, great. That can open was not picked up. Great. Oh well. Ah! Ah! Cold fuck. So used to gulping this in the morning after you drive to work. So it like cold, cold warms up. Done. All right. Recap. We survived. We got out. We pinned the damn mastermind in a corner. And now we're having one last final showdown. So, seems like, if y'all recall how I do these, seems like we're gonna have two more episodes. Because I think what I'll do is, after the class trial, if there's anything left after that one, I might just continue it on that episode just to get it done because I feel like there wouldn't be much left like that was like like with this one at the class trial there was like one twenty minutes content left waiting mean, for that chapter to end so might be a lot lo longer video towards the end but if you guys are watching this on Twitch and watched it all the way through I appreciate the support so fucking much make sure to join the discord in the bio on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube and you watch this all the way through, make sure to leave a like and comment. Favorite characters, favorite part of the episode, anything just to keep, to convince me to keep going on this. Because I appreciate the support and the love. And if you're not part of Discord yet, or if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to do that so you don't miss a fucking video. Description will have the Discord link so you can join the server, talk to me and everybody else. All the fun fucking Damn cadets and everybody on there. Aside from that, it's been a fun fucking game to play. It's a shame that it's almost over. But, I got big plans for the next series, and some of y'all already know it. This is Commander signing off. Peace. Love y'all. See you next time. <laughs>